listening. My father could hear a little animal step or a moth in the dark against the screen, and every far sound called the listening out into places where the rest of us had never been. More spoke to him from the soft, wild night than came to our porch for us on the wind. We would watch him look up and his face go keen till the walls of the world flared, widened. My father heard so much that we still stand inviting the quiet by turning the face, waiting for a time when something in the night will touch us too from that other place.